As I was finishing my September RV tours, I came across this. I spotted it from across the way, and I thought, there's no way I can miss this baby. This is an ATW Alpha. It is built and designed by ATW Australia and fits the Mitsubishi Fuso perfectly. This thing is awesome. This rig is a 21-foot 2012 Sportsmobile ATW All-Terrain Warrior. This rig is a Warrior Overland vehicle. It is built with a Fuso Mitsubishi chassis and a Fuso 4P10-T54 cylinder diesel engine built for living off the land. You can make potable water from lake or salt water, 4x4 drive, gel coat fiberglass that has solid core foam, R22 insulation, winch in front and back of vehicle, push button lift roof gives an interior height of 9 feet 9 inches, air conditioner, power tech generator, roof mounted solar panels, all lighting is LED, galley stove, can be an electric induction unit or a diesel stove. The refrigerator is a double drawer with each drawer operated as an individual unit. Enclosed water closet included shower and lavatory, fully self-contained and all diesel powered. Take note of all the exterior amenities on this rig. It is amazing big large deck above the driver's door here is a little closet area here with your water hoses and hookups um, there is also the orange thing on the door which I will point out is a traction grid you use that if you get stuck stick it under your tires and you can pull yourself right on out of your situation those are very, very handy to have and um, actually rather important with an ATV type of vehicle. Moving on to the exterior rear part of this. Unfortunately, all the exterior bays were locked, as was the cockpit area. So I was not able to go inside and check out the cockpit either. Massive, massive, two massive ATV tires mounted on the back, winch on the front and back. <laughs> this is something. This is your off-road vehicle. This is, You can take this baby anywhere. This is not your typical everyday type of RV. This is for the true sportsman that likes to go anywhere. Like I said, all the um, little bays there were all locked, so I could not get a good look at any of them. So let's take a look at the interior. The step-in area, I don't know if that's an electric step or a pull-out step, but you have that step and then three more to step up on, which amounts to four steps to get into this rig. It's a very interesting rig. So we'll take a little look at the inside here. This is the little lavatory area that they speak of, that I spoke of rather. It's like a little wet bath area. 
with your lavatory and uh, all the that you need there. Then you have your pop top, top. And I don't remember if that roof is metal or fiberglass. Since I did this tour in September and I was not able to get back to it to edit it. This is the final edit of my September to 2020 RV tours. And I believe they said that that was just hydraulic, that you push the button and it goes up on its own, which is pretty awesome. Nice size bed there. You have a vent right there, probably for the heating. Open up this little area and surprise, that's where the ladder is. That's pretty neat. little contained area for your ladder won't go tossing and flying about the rig as you're going over those mountains in rough terrain could not get that panel open so I can't tell you what was under there could be storage I'm not sure this one I could not get open at first And I have a little struggle here trying to get it open. Sat my camera down on the countertop and I was able to get it open. Not the most flattering shot when you're doing a wide angle. <laughs> and it appears to be a little closet, which is handy. pointing out features of it there, which is, you know, a closet. I think I was also trying to figure out why the door was sticking. And if you look beside me there, there is the control panel on the wall. We will check out this little galley area. Generous, generous counter space. And there is the induction cooktop, which also cooks on diesel, which I find that very interesting. And it has two light bars in the kitchen. Lots and lots of adequate lighting there. The little pantry area underneath there. <laughs> I was going to try again, but it just won't open. Fuse box is right there. I even take the panel off to show the fuse box. Just a little pop-off panel. <laughs> I always put things back where I found them. I don't let them, I don't give up and just lay it down. I took it off. It's my responsibility to put it back on. And if you notice on the floor, that's also storage. Those little panels lift up and I failed to notice that while I was in there. Little radio system there, socket in the kitchen, the galley sink with the little fold down spigot. This is pretty cool. It's a refrigerator, freezer. That is, I would like that in my motor home. 
That would be pretty darn cool to have. I like it better than my standard RV refrigerator. I just think that's pretty cool. Nice little feature there. And it also has an air conditioning system. We will open this panel and it contains the batteries. Very clever, very clever design. And then this is the little front sitting area. And of course it has the table, benches on each side. You can always drop that table, take that table down, use it for normal seating. And I imagine that you drop the table down for another bed area as well. I believe this sits six people, sleep six people. And unfortunately, because of the cockpit area being locked, I didn't get a very good view of it, so I did the best I could. A very interesting rig. There's a train going by. I hope <laughs> my speaker is not catching it, which it probably is. I swear. So, I hope you enjoyed the tour of this rig. This is rather a unique rig. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and live the life you love. Bye.